Okay, here we are at the southernmost point of America. Woo! Okay, I'll hang up and find us a spot, okay? Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna get to, am I going the wrong way? No, I don't think I am. Here, this is the southernmost point of America, folks. Yeah. We'll line up and get our picture with that for sure. Look at the lineup to get your picture. It's a famous spot. Okay, we're looking for parking, so let's see what we can do here. Look at, we're just in a tropical, just an absolute beautiful tropical oasis. Oh my goodness. So I love that saying. It's a beautiful phrase. Uh, what is this? It's a boombox car. This is such a Burning Man car, right? Drugs involved. She was actually real squirmy a few minutes ago. Thank you for your service. I appreciate you. This is the southernmost house in the continental U.S. Look at how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. And they serve lobster pizza here. Do you like how I... <laughs> Let's see how cold the Atlantic Ocean is. There's a lot of... Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's a little... <laughs> it's a little chilly. No, actually, it's not too bad. It's a beautiful day here. Are you wet? Yeah. I am at the southernmost tip of North America right now. United States. Uh, Key West. Yeah. Our table is seaside to the Atlantic Ocean. Eat it again. <laughs> Eat it again. <laughs> what a beautiful view. Isn't oh, it? Stunning. Ahi tuna. Lobster risotto. Well, we have uh, orchid petals on these. Yes. Yeah, oh, an octopus. Oh, oh beautiful. Go. Oh, with capers. Love it. Oh, my goodness, this looks delicious. All right, so we are snacking on these beautiful things. What is your favorite thing? What did you, what were you saying about what you like on here? So I really love the octopus. Mm -hmm. um, it's the best octopus I've ever had. It's a, it has a nice char on it. Yeah. It's not super chewy, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. The lobster with prosciutto lobster risotto. Lobster prosciutto risotto, yeah. It's just perfect. That's really great. Uh -huh. And then what it, what's, what's this and one? And then this is the pokey with mm -hmm. uh, some uh, little radish sprouts and a nice... Uh, seaweed salad. Seaweed salad and a tater chip. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that there are 
all of these orchids as like little garnishes, but I can't wear it in my hair because it's, it's been in the food. Okay, we just walked literally across the yeah, island. It's two to in the morning. We're still eating. <laughs> we're still eating. We're still eating pie. Um, so now, let me flip you around. We got regular key lime pie and coconut key lime pie. Okay, so what'd you think of the, the key lime? This key lime, it has a, a whole unique flavor. The key lime I've tasted before, but it has a very... Is it better than your brother? Pleasant, good flavor. I, I'm going to put it equal with my oh. brother's. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Which is a nice compliment. And we got and a then the coconut, coconut one? Coconut okay. key lime here. So we're going to try see. that one. We literally walked miles for this. Like five miles. Five miles. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's so late at night, but here's dessert. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. It is another gorgeous day here in Key West and uh, I have a nice fresh plumeria flower in my hair. My car smells all tropical. I'm just gonna flip the camera around here and just show you how very jungly these streets are. Like, isn't this beautiful? Let me, hang on. There we go. Oh, that's much better. It is before sunrise, so this tree right here, let me pop you off the camera. That, that's plumeria. That's what I have in my hair. And it smells amazing. Oh, so I'm gonna take us down to the beach and make us some coffee and tell you about our big day today. Good morning. Oh. The sunrise is just about to happen. In fact, it's happening right now. Let me flip you around. Oh, you see that? Oh. Another beautiful day in paradise. Oh my goodness. I feel so lucky to be here in Key West. Alexander and I found a park yesterday. And it was just a little bit away from hustle and bustle of downtown and we ended up hanging out there like all afternoon just kind of laying on the grass and looking at our YouTube comments and things like that and uh, the neighbors ended up coming out and introducing themselves to us and they oh look at this sunrise oh my goodness Anyways, they offered to let us park our vehicles in front of their house, and they were fine with it, and we had a safe, quiet place to sleep. So, you know, when you're traveling and you're not doing anything nefarious, people are very curious about this lifestyle, and, and they want to know, like, what is it like, and they want to hear your stories, and it turns out, Amy... Amy, if you're watching, and hi, Keith. Thank you, Keith. They're not together. They're neighbors. Um, Amy used to have a school bus, and she's just recently sold it, and now she's thinking of getting a Honda Element and then having it and traveling in it. And, you know, maybe I'll get to see her on the road. But let's go check out this sunrise, okay? Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this little puppy. This puppy's living its best puppy life at the beach. Oh. Yeah, we're all gathering down here for sunrise. So I'm going to make some coffee off the back of night here and enjoy this. Good morning. Oh, here comes another one. 
there are roosters all over the island. It's pretty cool. Let's get some coffee, kids. This, this is today's drive through coffee. <laughs> oh, and my little flower. Here we go. <laughs> I want to say aloha, but like, cuckoo Key West? But you ain't even flexing. Guys, guys, there's an there, there's all kinds of chickens here and this is where they lay their eggs. That's an egg right there. And then there's an egg over there, which I'll take you around. So that's where they lay them. But I, I mean, it's not, it's not safe for us to eat them because we don't know how long they've been there. Free eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I kept wondering where they where they lay their eggs. So they lay them under these bushes. Oh my god. Good morning cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. We have Alexander again with us this morning. He does have a YouTube channel and I want you to check him out. It's Alexander Shares the Wild. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below this one. We are going on a helicopter ride today, kids with the doors off, yes. which is the ultimate adventure ring. So we are currently in Key West today, and it's a beautiful day, and we've booked a helicopter ride for half an hour. I'm gonna tell you, it's not cheap, but you know, we're worth it. And we are gonna get to visit Key West from the air. So we're trading van life for helicopter. For heli life. <laughs> for heli life. <laughs> Woo! Are you uh, experienced? Yeah. I've done a couple, but uh, yeah, you're probably good at it. So, all right, expert. Jimmy's gonna do the coconut for us. Oh, look at him! He's, yeah. That's quite the the mat, a hatchet. And that's why you put something under it. Yeah, because the blade. Yeah. 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 I sharpened the hell out of that. Yeah. City crew cut down about ninety. So all of a sudden, I had ninety. Whoa. In my front seat. <laughs> so I took him over to Higgs Beach, and this was somewhere in February last year. And I just chopped up nine oh. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, you're professional. I have a straw. Okay, taste it. I did learn one thing. How does it taste? <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, kids. Well, it's now 10 o'clock in the morning at Key West, and I have found this wonderful little 
Garden Club West Martello and it's open at 9.30 and I'm going to take us in it. So it is this old brick building and there's a garden in here and it's open at 9.30. They also have yoga. Oh my goodness, this is so charming. just want to sit down. Oh. This is what fascinates me is they have the orchids growing off of the trees. I mean, in Oregon I buy them from Trader Joe's. And they're in or they're in bark, but here they're just attached to the trees and growing. So this is a historic site. It's a West Martillo Tower. And there were three of them. This one is in mostly rubble now. And there are these are part of the series of the fortifications that were designed to protect the Atlantic and the Gulf Coast. After the wars of 1812, when the British burned Washington, D.C. Oh my goodness. It's now a garden and it's all run by volunteers and donations, so I will be making a donation today to them. These banyan trees, these are healthy. It's a wonderful place to bring a little picnic. Oh, gorgeous. The garden center is named for Joe Allen, a congressman and avid gardener who saved the structure from demolition and brought in the Key West Garden Club in the 1950s to create the gardens you see today. The gardens are designed and maintained by local volunteers who meet every Monday, which is the day that I'm here, for a work day and educational session. If I lived here, I would definitely volunteer for this. Maybe next winter when I spend time down here, I'll see if they'll let me come and volunteer for the month. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can you look at this? Isn't this beautiful, the view from here? Oh, that's the Atlantic Ocean. What a wonderful spot to just sit amongst these big old trees. It's a nice ocean breeze. It's about 76. It's a gorgeous morning here in Key West. Walking through this garden on these trails next to the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, so lovely. And there's some of the volunteers. this very sweet little gazebo to sit in. 
and just look over the ocean amongst all of this greenery. It's so very zen and peaceful here. They had cold weather here in Florida, so that's the dead that you're seeing on this palm tree that they're currently clipping. Mm. Oh yes, this is lovely. If I were to, like, so I'm planning on coming here for the winters. Mm -hmm. Can I still volunteer here? Oh, please. A, really? lot of our, a lot of the people here today are snowbirds who may only, some people come in for a week, oh, but make really? it a point to volunteer. Oh my God, I'm yeah, I would love a to. A lot of people are here for two or three months, one yeah. or two or three months. This is the bell signaling the volunteers to come in because they're going to have a little meeting. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, you as well. I'm actually still looking for Hazel because I wanted to... Oh, Hazel? She is out. Well, good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls, my YouTube darlings. Today I've got a special guest with us. This is Hazel, and I'll just let you introduce yourself and tell tell my viewers who you are and okay. where we're at and what it's all about and the volunteering. Okay, well, we're at the Key West Garden Club. That's all around us here. <laughs> Key West, of course. Um, I've been here over 50 years myself. Um, my name's Hazel Hans. This this is a lovely little garden. It's, uh, I think, unique in the country because it's set amidst the ruins of an old Civil War fort. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually three red brick forts on this tiny little island. We're only two by four miles. So... It's not, I've walked across the island several times <laughs> since I've been down here. And I've also taken you through some of the brick structures here. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I saw in the 1950s, it's been turned into like, almost like, well, it's a garden and a botanical preserve and... Right. Um, the garden club took it over back in the 50s and mm -hmm. started bringing in dirt. Here in the, the Keys, we have limestone. So mm -hmm. a lot of people say we don't have soil. We have limestone soil. So. Yeah. It's very alkaline. So. And then how do you keep it going? Like, who takes care of the gardens here? We have volunteers that come in every Monday morning. Um, and that's Nine the day 12. that I'm here is today. Right, mm -hmm. right. So we welcome our volunteers, and we have some really dedicated people, and lots mm -hmm. of different skill sets. A um, number of us are master gardeners. Oh, nice. That so helps. if I were to um, come down next winter and vacation here, could I come and volunteer here? You could, right. And there's also other gardening opportunities available really? in the town. Mm -hmm. We're going to have our um, garden tours the end of February, the Friday and Saturday. And that's of this garden? And what are the other gardens? No, we do um, homes. Home. Oh, home. It's a home oh. garden tour. So we have five. I love that kind of stuff. We have oh five homes. And actually, they're just a few blocks away from this garden oh. this year. And of course, and you try, have to be here for They're that. all within walking distance. Yeah, but so. they're private homes. Private homes. So they're only, you can't just walk in and no, see no, those. No. So I just finished making my donation up at the front, but I came back to find oh, you. Okay. Um, and I really thank you for welcoming me oh, and being so course. warm and open. And I mean, because before I met you, I was, you know, filming some things in the garden thinking, what a wonderful place. Like, even though I'm on vacation, if I was only here for a week, I can come and volunteer, but I plan on being here longer. So if you're in the Florida Keys and you're here on vacation and you're looking for something to do, come on down to the garden here and volunteer. It's a great way to contribute to the community. Every and, Monday morning, yeah. yeah. And come down and visit if you're not yeah, here. And come and on visit. On a Monday it's, or don't want to work. It's free to visit. It's absolutely beautiful. Bring a picnic. You Bring can have a picnic, picnic yeah. amongst this beautiful garden in the banyan trees. And we are right on the ocean, too, which yes. you can't tell from here. But There's visit. a beautiful beach just over yeah. the over the fence, just <laughs> over here. Thank you again for having me. Oh, thank you, Mindy. <laughs> you're welcome. So that was super fun to find out from Hazel, one of the volunteers and coordinators here, that when I come back next year for my vacation, I can come to this location and I can volunteer and also learn about tropical gardening. How exciting. And what a great way to get involved with the community 
and learn new things. So this structure here is part of the old ruins of the fort. Toxic, so they they keep the toxins in their system when they turn into butterflies, and then no birds eat them. Oh, is that what it's, they told you? You know brilliant. this. I just knew that. Oh, because you're a you're a you're a, a biology nerd, aren't you? Oh, look at that! What's oh, a sweetie pie? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Lovingly called hairy balls. Harry Balls, but what, say, can you tell me the Latin name again? Gumprocarpus <laughs> physocarpus. Oh my goodness. Oh my, gumprocarpus, but also known as Harry Balls. <laughs> We're going for a heli ride, guys. Okay, thank you. Are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been up in the air. Alexander has been lucky to go in helicopters because he was a woodland firefighter. You can just wrap a black strap around your waist here, so just wrap it behind you. That's it. Plug in the white buckle, just run it off. Life jacket? Yep. Okay. Life jacket. So let's make a bit of a beating. Yeah. So he's changing out our hand grips for beast class. Red button to release, and I'll let you know when to do that at the end of the flight. There's no smoking on board the aircraft. And then the last thing here is our headsets. So that we can all communicate, just put these on like normal headphones, bring the microphones down nice and close, and then you can just talk nice and loud and everyone inside can hear you. With the doors off though, most likely once we get going, the wind noise will activate these microphones. That'll be super annoying for all of us. So what I'll do is I'll turn your microphones off. I can still talk to you guys and you can still hear me, but you won't be able to talk to each other or me through the microphone. Okay. If you guys shout though, you should be able to hear each other. Okay. Or if you're just talking normally, usually I can hear when you're talking. But if you do need my attention, just tap me on the shoulder. Okay. Otherwise, you guys ready to go and enjoy? Yeah. I think so, yeah. All right, for <laughs> oh my sure. goodness. Perfect. Here we All go. Right. Whoever right, would like right to hop in first. Alright, so if you want to step in here where I am, left foot first on the side. Right. Snacks will be bugs. <laughs> bugs, yeah, gnats and whatnot. Mm -hmm. A couple of flies and things, maybe.
got Damien here. Damien, talk about your business here. G'day, this is Fly Key West Helicopters. We're operating out of Key West International Airport. We're offering scenic tours for everyone. Come on down and check us out, just like Mindy with Ninth Element. <laughs> and I will leave a link and all the information in the description of this video so you guys can get a hold of Damien, but it is a top-notch tour. Thank you so much. Thanks I appreciate it. Thanks for coming you. out. <laughs> Good morning cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. Well, this is my last morning in Key West and how I'm going to honor it is I'm going to get a Cuban sandwich from a famous all day kind of breakfast and lunch stop uh, here in downtown Key West, downtown, down little, down little town and a Cuban coffee and a mango smoothie. And uh, then I'm going to head out to Higgs Beach and have my breakfast, say goodbye to, to Alexander. Traveling together for about a week now and it was so fun. We're going to try and meet up again at some point, but I have to start heading north out of the Keys, but I'm not leaving completely yet. I'm going to visit some of the other ones and just say hello to them. Maybe have a snack and a swim. Cuban sandwich. Breakfast of champion. I'd also like to give a shout out to 
a friend that Alexander and I made here down in Key West. Her name is Amy. Amy, if you're watching, hi. Amy makes these little bags. See this? This is her design. And when you buy one of these bags, this one's actually a backpack. And then she also gave me this one. And I was needing two, two reusable shopping bags, but inside of them, when you buy them, you get markers so that you can color the bag. And I was really wanting to do some painting and some art. So now I get to decorate my own bag. They're made out of this beautiful, lightweight hemp product. And they're just so fun. I believe she has about five or six different designs. So Amy, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you down the road. She might get a Honda Element too, y'all. Good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls of my YouTube darlings. Look who's with us again. It's Alexander from the wild. Yesterday, when we finished our helicopter tour, we're going to talk about in this part of the video, when we were leaving the airport, Alexander saw some landscapers trimming the trees and he asked for coconuts. Oh, you're supposed to say I shimmied up the coconut tree to cut them down. <laughs> so I'm going to flip you around and we're going to just take a look at what he got, but he's going to cut into a coconut so I can have fresh coconut juice and coconut meat. Mmm, coconuts. So this is what a fresh bunch, I've got a bunch of beautiful coconuts. Okay, so Alexander, which ones do you think are the best? Um, these are a little bit smaller, but I think they're still good because as long as they're heavy and they mm -hmm. have weight to them, there's a uh, juice in there and okay. some good meat. Okay. I think you're typically cut off this end, not the yeah. end that was attached to Okay. The we are going to have fresh coconuts. on our own little tropical island paradise here. Okay, so we're into the oh, we're meat. into there. Okay, yeah. So what I like to do is kind of, when you're here, because mm -hmm. if you cut it like this, it'll, the milk will spill yeah. out. Yeah. So I like to just kind of dig it out like this. Just get your straw in there. You are a wild man. <laughs> get a little taste. Mm. Delectable. Here's the straw. Tell me if the juice is good. Is it? I can't wait yeah, to try so. it. I just want to say this, I've never heard cut a green one. I usually collect brown, brown husk ones that are dried out, but this is the, the best coconut milk I've ever Because had. it's so, I mean, they were oh, cut, so, it was cut out of the tree yesterday, so. Holy cow. It's Oh my it's goodness. So, it's so rich. Mm. You can almost taste the nutrients. It's just so good. Oh, and the electrolytes. The electrolytes. Thank you so much. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That was so mm. good. So what did you think of the helicopter tour yesterday? It was fantastic. Oh, right? Yeah. It's such a, as you can see, I mean. Look at the, the, the color the, of this water. The teal green. It's so like iconic colors, mm -hmm. tropical. And yeah. I just love seeing the whole like geology of the island, like the how the keys are laid out. So mm -hmm. get the bird's eye view. I really love that. Yeah. I love seeing we saw what kind of shark was it? We saw a shark. We saw a nurse shark. Nurse shark cruising and around. He said it was very big. I mean five feet or something and he yeah. said it would get up to how big would it get? Nurse sharks nurse sharks get huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah they get pretty long. But it's so the the water that we were flying over was only like between one and four feet deep. Yeah, yeah you could see Because it was a shelf there. and there was seagrass. Um it wasn't the reef. No. Forget what he called the area, the ground. Um there was a name for that I area. think it's I think it's it's all old reef. It's like the, is it the is that Boca Raton out there or something or no? What is it out there? I think you might. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's it what is. he yeah. said. Yeah, and the barriers like out yeah. that way much further. Yeah, and there were people that 
they had these tables in the water and they were standing up to the table just like they're at a bar with their bodies halfway in the water having their drinks their boats are there they got music playing i mean it's just the absolute beautiful tropical paradise yeah the party scene is is mm -hmm. off the main island well there's a good party scene in town but on Duval. Out, like the locals go out there and they party yeah. down yeah. but we also saw um and i don't think many people see them but it was confirmed by the pilot Damien, that it was a yeah. hammerhead shark. Yeah, we, we saw, saw a hammerhead, hammerhead shark. Yeah, and we saw a big turtle. Big turtle, a big turtle. We could see it easily from the air. That turtle was yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was probably like four or five feet across. It was a big turtle. Yeah, to be able to see it. And then I love seeing like we traveled to the southernmost point and got our picture taken. But then yeah, there's yeah. all this this giant white ball, which you'll see in the video, um, on both our videos. The, that is the most southern point. And can we, are we allowed to walk to that white ball or is that on the Navy base? I'm not sure if it's restricted or not. Yeah. We'd have to check it out. We would. Yeah. But we have just had an absolute magnificent time down here in Key West. We've paid for zero accommodations. We've stealth camped everywhere. We've actually made friends with neighbors in the neighborhood yeah. and they invite us to, into their home. We're not going to show the neighborhood that we were in or our friends because they don't want to be on YouTube. And we also don't want to out the location and have it blow up on social media. So part of the adventure when you're traveling like this is finding a space that feels comfortable for you. You go in late at night and you leave early in the morning and you leave yeah. no trace. And yeah. that's what we've been doing this whole time. Yeah. So the money we would have spent maybe on a hotel room or, well, there is no camping. Um, we were able to eat at some beautiful places. But you know, don't you agree the best parts of Key West have been free? Absolutely. My Some of my favorite parts about Key West have been free. Yeah. So this life can be free, cheap, and easy. Nice, <laughs> nice few nice little parks where we can just kind of be leisure and relax and mm -hmm. yeah. And then go into town and you know, yeah. have good food. Oh my God, the food was We've amazing. been living, living high on the hog here, I feel like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, without paying for accommodations. Yeah, so that's, exactly. That's the ticket. That's how yeah. you do it. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I wanted to show you the, the bird up and up with that bird flying around. Yeah. It's a frigate bird. Is it? Yeah. And uh, you don't see a whole lot except on kind of down this way. Mm. Oh, this has been so good. I feel like the coconut juices you buy in the store, they say there's no sugar added, but they have a, they must have a preservative in them that sweetens them, because they don't taste like this, because I, I drink so. coconut water all the time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, this is pleasantly sweet. There's a sweet yeah, no, there is a sweetness to it. What did that, what did the rotten one taste like yesterday? It was, it had the like classic Cheese. fermentation going on. Well, the fermentation can be good, or was it funky? You know, it probably would have been okay to drink, but it, it wasn't, it didn't taste palatable. It was just kind of accurate. <laughs> I know your but, face. Yeah, I got that on film. <laughs> That's what we need to do is get a car. Maybe we can rent a two seater. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Now to take the meat out of here. That's breakfast. I mean, look at, so these guys, they just gave you all these coconuts and they were like totally cool with it. <sighs> More? Well, I know, we live, in, we live in tiny houses, so we can't just have, like I have zero room. I might be able to take two coconuts with me up north. So we're gonna cut the coconut in half and then try to chip out the meat. Okay. Get that? <laughs> wow, I did. Are you filming as well? Yeah. Okay, good. Try to get the same. Yeah. Oh, look at all that fresh. Oh, yay. And it gets a little dirty as you're doing this. Oh, wow. Well. Um, but you can rinse all the meats off. Yeah. I, I put in a little like a uh, little baggie and then put water in it and like oh that's a good idea and rinse it, rinse okay off, but. that's the coconut flesh inside the coconut so there's just that little bit of roundness so that's the meat that we've been eating here and alexander has been kindly picking it out for me to snack on he he's tarzan 
And I'm Jane. <laughs> okay, let's put these back up on the table. Oh my god, these are so heavy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, take the coconut. Okay, so I have a piece of coconut here. Mmm. This is the meat. Mmm. Holy cow. I'm eating the whole thing for breakfast. I hope it's good for my belly. Oh. In paradise. Mmm. Well, as always, everyone, I thank you all for being here and for watching, enjoying my journeys, making new friends with me. And so, as I always say, <laughs> so much love from the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs>